Hello everyone, I'm Yumna and I'm a product manager at SAP. I welcome you all to the second lesson of our summer tutorial series on SAP WorkZone. In the first lesson of this series, we saw an overview demo of the product. In the second lesson today, I will be deep diving into the page builder experience in SAP WorkZone. If you have still not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so by clicking on the button below. I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's get started. In this lesson, we are going to explore the no-code page builder experience in SAP WorkZone that is leveraged across both home pages and workspaces. Remember that the page builder allows citizen developers to leverage from many capabilities including editing the home page, administrating the workspaces, and many more. As explained in the previous demo, my role here is of Stephanie, Head of Customer Strategy at AirX, a company that manufactures and maintains heating and cooling systems. The page editor we are going to look at more closely in this demo is used across My Workspace, also for regular workspaces and the home page alike. Firstly, I will show you how Stephanie can reach the page setting options by clicking on this magic wand here. By clicking on this, you will get the following options. The first is how she can select the language and translate text on this page. The second option is how she can revert to the previous version of the page. Down here, she can copy the page to use as a starting point to build another page. And then, finally, she can also delete the page from here. To edit this page, Stephanie can go up here to this pencil from where she can access the page editor. The page editor provides a grid-based layout with up to six columns and flexible number of rows. As a page designer, you can start by creating the required grid layout and the desired cells, to which then you can add relevant content placeholders in the form of so-called cards and widgets. Once you have created the experience you are looking for, you can either save it for later as a draft or publish it right away. Once published, the users will immediately see the results or the updated, newly created pages based on their page access and scope. There is a broad selection of cards and widgets in SAP WorkZone that can be accessed by Stephanie when she clicks on the button Add Widget from here. Whenever you are working in the page editor, you have access to a rich catalog of these out-of-the-box widgets provided by SAP. There are several categories of widgets from which Stephanie can select. First, the standard tools allow her, for instance, to create a rotating banner, add an image or multimedia assets like an embedded video to her page. Next. There are different filters and lists available providing her options to show selected workspaces, frequently viewed content, and showing a search field as well. When she is looking to add or show different content on her page, she uses the content and document category of widgets. Here, she gets the access to different options to surface events knowledge base, articles, or other documents. Last but not the least, she also has the extension and integration categories which focuses on business data from pre-built integrations such as external content repository integrated into SAP WorkZone. In addition to these pre-built widgets, the page builder provides the ability to include UI integration cards that you can create in low-code as well as pro-code approaches. Those will be discussed in detail at a later stage. Now let's look into some of the cards and widgets that Stephanie would like to add to her homepage and how she can do that. She will start 
by going down here and selecting a place where she wants to add the widget. She will click on this button. For example, let us start with using a standard tool. Over here, she would like to add a multimedia. This can be done by entering a multimedia link from here. She will just copy paste the link of the YouTube video that she wants to add and give a title to the widget. For example, she can call it a video. And we'll click OK from here. And now she can see it here on her home page. Before moving forward, she also wants to add a few more widgets to her home page. For doing that, she will go again to the Add Widget button. Stephanie wants to see her upcoming events on her home page. For that, what she can do is she can add the events widget on her home page. She will go here and select from a public workspace from where she can find the events. For example, the healthcare and benefits workspace. After selecting this workspace, she will go down and click OK. Now, her all the upcoming events from the healthcare and benefits workspace will be shown here on her homepage as a widget. Lastly, Stephanie wants to further customize her homepage by adding her company logo at the top of her home page. She wants to add a row up here. She can do that by clicking on this plus sign. And then she wants to add an image here as a widget. She will go on the image option from here. And then she will click here to select the image from her computer. She will select the company logo. It will show up here on the top of her homepage as she wanted it. Now she is fully satisfied with how her homepage looks, so she is ready to publish all the changes that she made. She will go up and from here she will click the publish button. And this is how the Stephanie's homepage is looking like now. She has everything that she wanted on her homepage, all the widgets that she added, and is now satisfied with how it looks. This is how easy it is for a citizen developer to leverage from the capabilities of SAP WorkZone. Join us in the next lessons to learn more. See you!